Hey collective, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're just delving into a collective message. Whatever comes out, take it if it's your story, leave it if it isn't, okay? Any and everything that has to do with myself or the channel will be down below in the description box. I do want to say thank you for all of the support of any kind, whether it's through tips, bookings, likes, shares. I appreciate it all, okay? So let's go ahead and delve into this collective read, please, and thank you. First, I'm going to pull some energy here. I want to know what's the energy crowning my collective's read. So occupation comes out. Okay. I feel like somebody's working towards something with child in reverse. Somebody could be working towards coming out of an immature behavior. What else? Mm, gift in reverse. So collective, you have someone um, in your energy that could be coming in soon um, that is really putting hard work towards changing themselves. Okay, maybe even before they didn't have much to offer you with bad health here. This person probably even just stressed you out. This person could be really stressed out as well. They are stressed out over the fact that they didn't offer you anything. Okay, and that they want to come out of this childish behavior. For some of you all, if you're a man, I see that this could be a woman that is suffering a miscarriage. Or they are going to go get an abortion. I see that as well, too. With the courthouse here, I see some type of legal binding, like some type of legal agreement here. So this could either be somebody that's working hard towards moving towards you with um, a proposal. You know, saying that they're coming out of a childish behavior and that they want to offer you more in life. They could be like literally proposing to you. For others of you all, like I said, this could be like some type of termination, you know, of a pregnancy or a loss of a pregnancy, okay? With the sudden wealth here, I definitely see come, something coming in, though. It's like from rags to riches. I feel like this is your energy collective. I feel like you started from the bottom and now you're here. Okay, yeah, with the despair, you could have recently been stressed out over money. Okay, but that's going to come to an end. Yeah, with this privileged lady card. Okay, so if you're in a divine feminine energy, then uh, if, like just say you're a woman. Okay, we're going to say that. Just say you're a woman watching this. Okay, um, if this is you, then you have someone coming towards you. Okay that wants to mature themselves because you're held in high honor. You're in this privileged energy where you went from rags to riches. Okay. You came up, you glowed up. Right. And I hate to just say glow up because I feel like this is something, um, well, I guess shit, just like a glow up. Okay. Yeah. But for others of you, I, I feel like you're, if you're a man, you're coming into this energy where you have someone, um, you got like better options coming towards you, okay? That's what I feel like. And you're also going through like this sudden wealth energy that still remains here. But the courthouse and the thief car here. See, I don't like this. If you're a man specifically, somebody here is trying to like come towards you, um, could be tr trying to trap you, okay, with a pregnancy, but then realizing that they're not, it's, it's something iffy about that, okay? Um, for others of you all, if this is an individual that's trying to mirror you, they could be trying to mirror you for money, okay? So let's throw some tarot on it and see what's going on. So the King of Wands is here with the Magician card. I feel like this is a masculine energy that is coming towards you. This is somebody that's action-oriented, okay? They have their eyes set on fixing something from the past, okay? I really see this person as being someone that wants a certain outcome yeah with the prince of cups here this is somebody reaching out to you in a romantic gesture collective this is somebody that's like yeah i want to deal with you they want to open back up that possibility of you all dealing with each other okay yeah with the ten of cups here this person is painting a picture though that's what i don't like i feel like this person is setting illusions with the two of wands here this person is almost like forcing you this is going to be something that feels forced collective okay yeah with the ten of cups here comes out again 
but with the seven of swords behind it. See, I can't make it up. This is somebody that's being sneaky. See, they're trying to force this family dynamic upon you, but they're being sneaky. They have some type of hidden motive, okay? Mm, with the star card here, because you're definitely in your glow. See, a lot of people are taking notice to you. You could be getting a lot of reactions from people on your social media. I just see a lot of people like reaching out to you. A lot of DMs as well with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's like because the karmic wheel is turned in your favor, collective. So expect like some type of glow up. Expect some type of come up. Expect like your finances to change for sure, especially if you're heavily worried about it, okay? With the four wands here, there's this stability, but not only that, what did I say? A lot of people are going to be watching you, okay? And they all looking at you. They like, um, oh my goodness, look at the collective. The collective does this. The collective does that. Like, it's just like an energy of like people being in awe of you. With the princess of disc here, it's like offers coming left and right to you of stability of people like really trying to found like have some type of foundation with you trying to hold your ass down in other words with the nine of cups here but i feel like it's for some type of selfish gain okay people look at you and they're like what could i get out of it and i feel like this person is no different so keep your eyes open yeah with the king of swords here somebody is strategically coming towards you okay and this person wants what it is that they want. But with the five of cups here, they're going to be in regret. They're in regret that they can't have this happiness with the sun card. Could be a Leo here. I see um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I see Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. The bottom deck is the chariot card. I see you just minding your business, um, moving forward. For sure. In many aspects, you're moving forward in life. And it's just like... A lot of people are coming towards you for their own gain. With the four swords, look. You're just... But you're in this energy of pondering. I feel like I don't have to tell you no lessons here. With the tower card, even though it's like the craziest shit start coming towards you. People start coming to you on all types of way. Like popular, not popular, celebrities, non-celebrities. It's just like on uptick. Okay? With the amount of people and the type of coverage that you're going to be getting. Right? But at the same time, you just like in this chill energy. It's like nothing could get you out your zone with the nine of disc here. This is that nine of pentacles. You just single, abundant. And I see somebody that's well balanced with the hangman here. You're like, I'm not about to make any rash decisions here because I'm comfortable where I'm at. At least that's the energy that you're going to be in. You're going to be like, I've been through a lot of my life. And at the same time, heavy Pisces energy and fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But it's like... Like, you know, I've been through a lot and I just want to make the right choices to maintain this status that I have, this abundance and stability that I have. OK, you're not out. You're not out here about to just throw it all away. All right. With the ace of wands here, it's like you got a fiery new beginning in your life and you're not about to waste that. Yeah. With the hero fine here, I feel like you're definitely gaining spiritual wisdom that you need to proceed forward. And the universe is working with you, conspiring with you. OK. And expanding with you as well. So what else can I tell my collective, please and thank you? Yeah, enemy. I feel like you have a hidden enemy or you have people, like I said, that are coming towards you and you cannot trust their ass. Okay, yeah, with the journey card here, a lot of people are going to be coming towards you, collective, with false motives, with false offers at love. Okay, and they just like, oh, collective, I love you so much, but the whole time they're an enemy, the whole time... Um, this person, okay, look, you can have two people coming towards you. One of them is very jealous. Okay. They're jealous of the offers that you get. They're just jealous all the way around because they like, well, who could collectively be dealing with? This could be somebody from your past as well. It's like they set to control you. They want you to be codependent upon them. And now that you're not, they just fall right into this jealousy type of energy. Okay. 
with the visit here, know that just a lot of people are going to be coming towards you with offers and love. Okay, but with the ecclesiastic energy here, this is that hair fine energy where I'm telling you that you have gained the spiritual growth that you need to proceed forward in these blessings. And I don't feel like you about to just blow it. Okay, with the thief here, somebody is definitely set here. This is right in your face to steal from you, to take your abundance. And you you just you're in this energy. Look, when I part the day, money come out because you're about to have this come up. OK, if you haven't already went through this, smash that like button because it's coming. If you've already went through this, smash that like button because it's here. OK, and these are the next steps. Retain that spiritual balance, right, with the lessons that have taught you what to do and what not to do. OK, I feel like you're going to maintain this wealth and I feel like you're going to move accordingly. Yeah, with a thought here, you're definitely in your mind about this. You definitely like 10 steps ahead with the officer here. You're definitely somebody that is legit. Like, I feel like you're definitely a person of high status as well, like an official person. So some of you all literally could be becoming a celebrity. Okay, I'm getting like overnight celebrity. I'm getting like, you know, something that you do for an occupation. Um, certain people turn you away and then you get discovered and it's just like, bam, overnight. But I feel like you're not falling for the okie doke with anybody that comes towards you, collective. Okay. So how can I close out this read for the collective, please? And thank you. Okay, the unknown. Knowing the unknown. It's like you're always 10 steps ahead here, collective. That's what I'm saying. It's like you already know what's going to take place before it takes place. Like you can already read people's motives, right? With the radical honesty. Hmm. It says, to believe in a facade is to suffocate in the armor of alienation, self-defeat, and self-denial. I feel like you're definitely still in this energy of going with the flow, like collective, I'm talking to somebody that goes with the flow, not afraid to step into the unknown, but not afraid to let go of their past, like the pain that they felt, but they're still not falling for the okie doke. See, with the distorted desire here, it says conscious desire rarely satisfies the unconscious need driving it. I feel like I'm speaking to somebody that's going within. Okay. Somebody that knows that there is more to life and that they want to have everything experienced that they can experience, that their heart desires, but true love, true bliss. And I feel like you're allowing to you're allowing the universe to work with you. OK, it's like a co-conspire energy, but it's like the universe is guiding you a little bit more and you're seeing things for what they are. And then you're going into the unknown, but you're fully surrendering and trusting it. Right. It says strength of vulnerability, basically. Right. True power lies at the root of a perceived weakness, okay? So something that you thought made you weak really makes you strong, okay? The bottom deck is perspective. A calm and clear mind is free to see differently, okay? And this is you having that bird's eye view, right? It says distorted perceptions. Reality is rarely what we are raised to believe it is. This is somebody that is stepping outside of the box and you're definitely co-conspiring with the universe, creating your reality because you have this radical curiosity about you that you see as if it's for the first time every time. Okay, that's like tapping into your inner child and creating a reality that you want. So expect people to be coming towards you from all which way, you know, trying to offer you love and trying to get a piece of your abundance and your money and what you have to offer. But I see someone that is changing in many ways. All right. Someone that is curious about the unknown and yet surrendering to the unknown because they know of the possibilities that it presents, okay? And I feel like this perspective continues to add richness to your life, okay? So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support as always. Until then, peace and love.